Patuloy pa rin ang aksyon dito sa 2023 Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament. Live po tayo on Plus Network and of course Shakey's Super League FB page. And uh, this is the second game for today. This as uh, important clash between De La Salle Santiago Sobel and UST as we saw or we see our matches today. Unang game po natin, it's National University Nazareth School winning against Grisel Christian College Foundation in straight sets and NU stayed unbeaten claiming the seat in the quarterfinals. At uh, again, good morning volleyball fans, Sheila Salaysay. Kasama pa din si Kai Balwalwa giving you the second game action between of course the De La Salle Chago Sobel and University of Santo Tomas Sky. Very important itong laro na to for their pool. Yes, and dito natin malalaman kung mananatili sa top two spots ang University of Santo Tomas or maaagaw ito ng De La Salle. Santiago Sobel. That's correct. As we take a look at our team standings for each pool and a pool ding at uh, tayo UST and De La Salle Sobel second and third place at nangunguna dyan ang Naga College Foundation. For uh, pool A it's NU again on top spot. Pool B, Bacolod Taitung, Adamson, Kings, Montessori, and LPU, and C, it's California, followed by FEU, Areliano, of course, and SCC. Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin ang nangyari in De La Salle Sobel's previous game. And in that match, naturally, uh, ang nangyari doon na they lost to Naga College Foundation in straight sets. But after winning their opening match against Emilio Aguinaldo College, Zago Sobel was humbled definitely by uh, the different players. Pero in their last match, sino bang nanguna sa kanila? Yes, 11-25 and 18-25 ang uh, naging score. Pero meron nito, uh, makikita natin na malaki ang naging contribution ni mm -hmm. Rain Cortez. Those six points, pero at least contribution pa din for That's the correct. Points. Nakadagdag nga din dito ang five points ni Lorien Gamboa. But still, uh, not enough for them to finish that game. For UST's previous match, they won over EAC, ICA in straight sets then At ang nanguha nga dyan, nanguna rather, si Margaret Altea. Yeah, Margaret Altea giving nine points, eight attacks, and one ace. So, malaki talaga ang... Uh, Ginampanan dito ni Altea. That's correct. Now, the question is, again, they defeat the junior Lady Spikers to move up to 2-1 in Pool D and march into quarterfinals. Yan ang ating aalamin. Kaya let me turn you over to our venue announcer for the starting lineups. Led by their team captain, number 18, Rian Cortez. And first leave it on, number 15, Alina De Los Santos. Their teammates, number 2, Sabine Valdez. Number five, Einstein Alemana. Number seven, Julien Mindanao. Number eight, Julicia Kuchi. Number nine, Lorien Gamboa. Number 11, Chloe Belen. Number 13, Samara Marzan. Number 17, Julia Andres. Number 19, Cassandra Gamboa. And their second libero is number one, Angel Senizal. referee, Iñaki Ramos, national referee. Second referee, Larry Escorial, national referee.
And now the starting lineup for both teams, starting with the De La Salle Santiago de Bell Jr. Lady Spikers. Team captain number 18, Rian Cortez. Number 9, Lorien Gamboa. Number 11, Chloe Belen. Number 13, Samara Marzan. Number 17, Julia Andres. Number 19, Cassandra Gamboa. And their starting libero is number 15, Elena De Los Santos. Head coach for the Junior Ladies Bikers is Jeremiah Mondial. And now the starting lineup for the University of Santo Tomas Junior Tigresses. Their team captain, number 8, Margaret Altea. Number 3, Jayla Adrao. Number five, Jacqueline Lepot. Number nine, Jan Isabel Chua. Number 12, Leon Peñular. Number 15, Ashley Magnaghi. And their starting libero is number four, Francesca Rodriguez. Acting head coach for the Junior Tigresses is Lerma Giron. There you have it, our starters for uh, these two teams, De La Salle Santiago Sobel and uh, UST Junior Tigresses, wearing green and white. You have Gamboa, Belen, Marzan, Andres, Cortez, and the Cassandra, the other Gamboa. Starting libero is Elina De Los Santos for Coach Jeremiah Monreal. Adrao, Lipat, Altea, Chua, Penuliar, Magnai, and uh, their first libero is Francesca Rodriguez. Wearing black and gold, and uh, those are the girls of Coach Lerma Giron. And again, we are under Pool Pool D. These two teams, malaki ang uh, magiging kalabasan na resulta yeah. ng kanilang laro. UST on second, followed by De La Salle Santiago Sobel a third. As we begin the first set, and this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Good first ball. One hand set and Penuliar will return the favor. Yes, good first attack by Penuliar, mm -hmm. as you can see. Good receive coming from UST. Ito yung gusto mo, yung sa simula pa yes. lang ng laro, nakita mo na yung aggressiveness. Itong mga players. Belen running for that ball and this is another, uh, this is the first point for La Salle Sobel. Ang ganda naman ng uh, sinukli. That time, sa habol dito ni Belen. Yes, look at that spike. Nilagay na lang yung bola eh, and hindi na inasahan ng UST. From the opposite. Another one. Magnayi will go to the open, but Chua is blocked at the net. And yes. of course, you have Cortez in front. Yes, good block by Cortez. Pero kung titignan mo, dalawang tower yung nag-abang dun mm. sa open ng UST. And wala talagang malusutan. That's correct. At wala ding naiwan sa backcourt ng UST in that last frame. First service error given up by Zobel. We are now tied at two. And you have the team captain of UST, Margaret Altea, serving. Belen will go to the middle of the block. That's cross-court attack by Lipat. Another chance for UST. Combination play. Too strong for Chua. Good combination play, pero medyo napailalim dito sa bola si Chua. That's so, ang tendency is mm -hmm. humaba yung palo. 
Rian Cortez, the opposite spiker of uh, Santiago Sobel and uh, the highest pointer in their previous match. Getting her first point from the service area. Yes, ito yung mga service na kailangan talaga. That's correct. And the serve of the game is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Sharp serve, but a good first ball for UST. Lipat Bumawe and uh, finding the line on the court of Santiago Zobel. Sharp first ball. Belen will go to the open, and that is another point. That's her second point for this match. Yes, Lorien Gamboa. Well, it's not the strongest of attacks. You know, yes. yung pangalawang puntos niya. She just knows where to put the ball. Yes, and it's a challenge siya talaga na mapagalaw niya yung mga dumidepensa. That's correct. Good block at the net, but uh, that the ball will hit the antenna. Kaya naman puntos ang ibibigay dito sa UST. Look at that spike from Lipat. Medyo talagang pinadaan niya ng cross court yung mm -hmm. ball eh. So pag na-block, tatalsik talaga palabas. Service is for UST. That's a chua. again serving for USD. Gamboa saving the ball. Opportunity. Running attack and drop. Too strong. That is uh, Jaila Adrao in the middle. Maganda din na nabasa agad ng Lasal. Itong drop niya. Then, mm. kita mo talaga eh, na ma-outside na yung bola. Oh, should be out, pero kinuha yan ng UST. Atake. Belen with a drop. And finding the donut hole on the floor of UST. Nice drop ball by Belen. Hindi na inasahan ito ng UST. And as you can see, medyo malayo na yung depensa ng UST dito. That's correct. And that is two points straight for Zobel. Setting this one to Lipat, cross court, pero nakuha yan dito ng Sobel, and converted to a point. What an effort right here by Santiago Sobel. If you will look at this last play, over-received na, pero naitawid pa yan dito. That is Julia Andres in the middle. What an effort being shown right here. Kanina, alam mo, umpisa palitan lang ng puntos at errors sa itong dalawang teams na to. But it's Santiago Sobel getting already back-to-back -back points. Ano bang adjustment dito ng USD? Yes, kailangan din talaga nila mapatibay yung depensa. Especially yung sa block. Kasi as you can see, dun sa harapan nila ngayon is medyo bas malaki itong mga Sobel na nasa harap. Mm -hmm. So medyo nahihirapan sila pumuesto dun sa depensa nila. That's correct. Meron din silang... Uh, no, ang lalakas din itong mga services nila as you on your screens is our fun family pizza of the game and this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now this is already our second game of the day kanina it's NU taking down of course, Grazel in straight set, securing ang uh, first spot in their pool. Ito naman, Sobel and UST. Naglalaban as Lipat denied. Going to the back. And that's too strong for UST. 
Yeah, too strong for Chua. That's already four points. Four point advantage of LaSalle Sobel. Strong serve, pero naiangat yan ng UST from open. Cortez, good pickup. Sending this one to the open. Another good defense. Oops. Margaret Athea had a tough time, you know, hitting that ball over the net. Yes, look at that spike. Look at that swing. Talagang full force. But then maganda sana na nakuha ng UST, hindi lang... Uh, na abot ni Altea itong bola. That's correct. And that's Marzan of Sobel. Another strong serve. Pero ang ganda ng first ball ng UST. At naka-convert naman ni Adrao from the middle. Yes, as you can see, look at that spike from Adrao. Ang ganda ng paso. Hindi na... Nakapuesto yung defenders yes. ng Zobel, but that's too much power. Marzan again, but that time committing an unforced error. USC naman ang uh, nakakuha dito ng back-to-back -back points. Dito sa game na to, mararamdaman mo talaga. Mm -hmm. First set pa lang. Ito yung hinahanap natin or sinasabi natin kanina na talagang hindi ka po pwede na mag petix petix Correct, <laughs> correct. Kailangan 100% pagpasok mo pa lang sa loob ng court. Good save by Cortez. You like the aggressiveness, yes. the power, pero napalakas yung atake ni Margaret Altea in the last mo, sequence. Yes. Kung makikita mo dito, talagang inibabawan niya yung blocker. Mm -hmm. Pero medyo long. Napasobra. That's correct. Santiago Sobel up here in the first set. Altea ulit ang hahampas. Block at the net. Chance for Zobel. Belen will send this one to Marzan. Denied. Oops. Gamboa. Binalik. Chance for UST. Again. Rejected. Althea off speed. Marzan. Excellent defense by the two teams. Pero yun ang tatapos sa rally as Magnai. Just dropping the ball in the middle. Yes, look at Magnai. Talagang ginamita ng utak. Alam niya na hindi ina-expect ang mm. drop ball. Good first ball. Belen will go this time to Marzan from the opposite. Ang bilis ng bawe dito ni Marzan. Yes, makikita mo na ang bilis ng hit niya sa bola. That's correct. And she acknowledges no matangkad yung blockers niya. And si Alte yun yung nasa harap. That's why she really avoided Althea in that last offense. Over reception. Just at the net na ibalik ng UST. Cross court. Over receive. And forced error on the side of UST gives... So, Bell, another point. Medyo napababa yung set. And hindi nagtugma yung setter dito. Hmm. And yung middle spiker. 13 serving 8. Samara Marzan still at the service area for Zobel. Althea with the left. Belen saving the ball. Pero kinapos on the third. Ashley Magnai. Good serve. Service ace. Yes, look at that service. Ang bilis bumaba ng bola eh. Hindi mm -hmm. siya inasahan talaga ng libero. Na ganun, kabilis babagsak. Kita mo ang laki ng area na kinocover ng libero dito. Yes. Cortez with the left, or rather with her right. Opposite, too strong for UST. 
Jan Chua asking for a check ball. But uh, it's none otherwise as she will be replaced here by Sinson. So Bell still on top here with four points. Julia Andres on deck to serve. Althea down the line, pero nakita yan dito ni Gamboa. Or rather, Lorien Gamboa ending that rally, but it was Andres ang nakakuha ng bola. Yes, look at that. The spike from Andres challenging Althea. Uh, that's Lorien Gamboa, ah. rather. Yeah, rather. Pero nakita mo, ang laki mm -hmm. ng blocker niya eh. Pero makikita mo sa mukha na hindi siya natatakot That's basta correct. papaluin niya yung bola. Yes. Penulyar. This time, ang babawe for UST. Eleven serving 15. Margaret Althea, this tall player of uh, Coach Lerma, has been really, you know, uh, the key for them in their previous matches. Kasama dyan yung kanilang laban against EAC. Free. Giving it to Gamboa once again, but she was dug. Off speed attack. What a hit coming from Lipat. Yes, nice decision. Kung makikita mo, yung approach niya is talagang pampalo na, but... Dun sa pinaka last minute, dun siya nag-change ang mina into drop ball. Correct. Ang hirap magbago. Alam mo yun, ng, lalo na yung contact ng kamay sa bola if you have that kind of approach. Pero with uh, that last minute adjustments ni Lipat, serve well for her team. Yes. And inasahan na din, napapaluin eh. So that, nag atrasa na lahat. Yes. Only down here by two. Margaret Althea still serving. Belen. But Gamboa is blocked. At, uh, alam naman dito ng setter ng Zobel na si Belen that she committed an error. Kaya naman kapatawag ng time dito si Coach Jeremiah Monreal. Tama ba? Ba't kasi nararatel? O ngayon, kinakain kayo. Eh, kayo na umakatake. Binibigay na nga lang yung bola. Eh. Di ba? Hinayaan nila kayo magkamali. Yun nga yung gusto natin mangyari. Sila magkamali. Bakit tayo nagkakamali? Tama ba? Okay. Wala na yon. Tapos na yon. Okay. Inail. Inail. Okay. Kapitan natin laro. Lalaban natin. Ang dami natin error doon. Decision making eh. Tapos tayo. Yes, I like that kind of coaching mm. na talagang binibigyan niya ng time para makapag-isip or makahinga itong mga players. Uh, sobrang importante, Sheila, ng inhale-exhale na pinagawa ni Coach. Lazal Zobel, up or lamang sila ng four or five points earlier yeah. bago makadikit itong UST. At syempre, dahil ganun na nga kalapit yung score, mm. natetense na sila. And they tend no to be stiff kaya sabi mo nga yung inhale exhale really will give them a breather at napag-usapan nga natin yan as they get a point right here dahil sa violation ng UST well we'll uh, go to our second technical timeout La Salle Sobel having a two point lead
is our second game of the day. Dito pa rin yan sa San Andres Sports Complex. At syempre, makasama natin ang ating Faces of the Day. Brought to you by Shakey's Order, your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. And Sheila Salaysay together with Kai Balwalwa bringing you the second match of our sixth header for today. This is the last day of the preliminaries. Yan naman napaka-importante ng lahat ng laro para sa ating mga koponan. Because that will determine ang kanilang magiging placing on their pools and if they will be able to reach the knockout quarterfinals. Yes, actually, pati yung set, sobrang importante na wag kang magbigay ng isang set sa kalaban mo. That's correct. Nung ating point system, kapag nanalo kayo in either two or three sets, your team will get two points. If you lost in straight sets, wala tayong puntos dyan. Pero kung nakipaglaban kayo hanggang dula at umabot ito ng three sets, your team gets a point. Wow, look at that. Nakita mo yung spike ni Lipat. Ang nipis. Mm-hmm. She has been very effective so far for Coach Ler Magiron. And kung isipin mo, Sheila, high school lang to mga pinapakita natin Correct. at pinapanood. Good defense at Danet by Zobel. But that time, si Lipat ulit ang pupuntos. Few substitutions on the side of Coach Jerry Maya Monreal. Valdez will come in. Replacing Rian Cortez, Julian Mindanao, ang papalitan dito ni Belen. We are now tied at 16. Nakahabol nga dito ang UST. Almost! Ngayon akala talaga nung libero lalabas eh because it went over her head but still that ball just dropped instantly. Service ace. Yes, and kanina pa may mga ganyang service talaga ang UST na parang hindi mo ina-expect na biglang bumabagsak yung bola. Correct. But this time nakabawi agad siya. Valdez will be able to cover that attack. Drop ball! At naiangat pa yan ng UST. Excellent effort, pero hindi yan na itawid kaya puntos ang ibibigay sa Zobel. Yeah, maganda ang hugot ni Coach kay Minda na actually yung palo niya na yun eh, parang wala pang lakas eh. Mm -hmm. Pero discarded lang yes. talaga nakapuntos. Good first ball. Lipat with the drop the second time around. Acknowledging that open spot on the court of Zobel. Yeah, I like how Lipat play this game. Kasi kanina from solid attack. Mm -hmm. from, tapos minsan pinapadaan niya sa gilid. But this time, drop ball. So, ang dami talaga. Ang galing ng paglipat-lipat yes. niya ng atake. Yes. <laughs> Valdez will send this one to Marzan. But she was dug. It's Lipat again hitting that down the line. As you can see, this time down the line naman ang ginawa. Pero kung titignan mo ang layo na ng bola mm. sa net, pero nagawan pa din ang paraan. Hindi na nga siya nakapag-approach yes. ng maayos doon. Grabe itong mga mata ko, Sheila, no? Talaga Nakakabilib, kanina, no? Yes, and kanina nakikita ko sila na bata talaga eh, kasi... During game preparation, nagsasayaw, kumakanta, mm -hmm. okay, which is okay lang kasi ini-enjoy lang talaga nila yung pagiging bata nila. Pero pagdating sa laro, no? yeah. hindi na mga bata kung maglaro. Naiiba bigla eh. Babalik si Cortez at Belen on the floor dahil nakalamang na nga dito ang UST. 20 serving 17. And you have Abigail Sinson. Serving for uh, the Junior Tigresses. Belen, bibigay kay Cortez from the back. Lipat again. And will get another point from the drop ball. Coach Jeremiah just wants to stop the bleeding. Pero tingnan natin, itong last play 
nilipat. Yeah, si Lipat ang nagiging scoring machine nitong mm-hmm. UST. And talagang malaking bagay yung mga ginagawa niyang variation ng attack. Kasi na, ultimo yung Sobel, nalilito na sila kung alin ba, aatras ba sila o... That's correct. Okay, malayo pa yan. Tama ba? Wala na akong timeout ha. Okay, dahan-dahan natin. Nasaan ka? Nasagit na. Sige, kakayo. Kailangan natin. Pasa na maayos. Bigyan mo ng back. Bigyan mo na si yun. Talo na. Let's go. Pag ginagat sa atin, patay. Mabilis. Yes, gusto ni coach ng pasa. Mm-hmm. Kasi para siyempre maka, uh, makadala, makadeliver ng good play itong ating setter. That's correct. Kasi kanina nga, nung umpisa nung uh, set natin, lamang pa sila against yes. UST. But now, it's already UST bumaliktad na ang uh, setwasyon. They already have a four-point lead here. Belen, sending it to Marzan, pero chance ibibigay sa UST. Blocked at the net si Adrao. Lipat once again. Another score for Lipat. How can you stop this girl from uh, getting those points? And I think that's her seven points for this match. Mm-hmm. And hindi pa siya umiikot. Twenty-two serving seventeen. Sharp serve. Service is. And that's in Son. Pumupuntos kung uh, kailang, kail, kailan, kailang, yes. kailangan siya. Getting those points at the right time of this set. They all only need two. Back to back service aces. Yeah, no time out. I time out for mm. the La Salle, Santiago Sobel. Ang ganda ng pinapakitang service dito ni Season. And makikita mo na sharp, sharp yes. service talaga. Cargado, no? Belen. Cross court attack. Out yun, pero violation on the side of UST. That's a set point save for Santiago Sobel. Oh, there's a net touch, clearly. Si Kuching ngayon, ang kanilang service specialist. Oo, oh, naman napaka-crucial ng role nito ni Kuching. Nice serve. Lipat. First error. That's another set point save. Dati wala namang serve special. It's pag high school. Tapos, yes. oh, ipapasok ka ng ano, ganitong part of the game. But you can see that she can deliver chance for Zobel. Marzan of the block. Lipat, down the line, nakuha ni Gamboa. Oops. Miscommunication. Coaching. Zobel, actually at the, that last yes. part, nagkagulo na sila when it comes to their floor defense. They almost, you know, having their their rhythm at nakakahabol na nga dito onti-onti but that last error took a toll which gave UST their 25th point and UST winning the first set will be right back for the second
This is the first set highlights of uh, La Salle Sobel and UST. Nauna nga dito ang uh, Sobel having as big as four or five point lead. Pero nahabol yan dito ng UST, Kai. Yes, and kung makikita mo dito sa UST, ang kanilang scoring machine, none other than Lipat, talagang dire-direcho yung puntos na ginawa niya kanina para malaki yung maging lamang nitong UST sa Sobel. That's correct. It's uh, Lipat taking care of business for Coach Lerma. On the other side, si Marzan kanina ang uh, leading, you know, leading when it comes to their offense on the side of Sobel. But UST acknowledging yung open spot sa gitna ng depensa dito ng Sobel. And uh, let's look at the numbers, Kai. Yes, as you can see, yung attacks talaga yung nagdala dito. Even the aces na ginawa ng UST. And opponent's error, ito talaga yung pinaka din na hindi inaasahan na ginawa ng Lasal. Mm -hmm. And malaki din yung naging uh, epekto nito para sa pagkatalo nila dito sa unang round. That's correct. Tingnan din natin ang service aces 7 ang nagawa dito ng UST only to one of La Salle Sobel. So that's really, that made a big impact on the outcome of UST's first set. Tingnan natin kung paano makakabawi dito ang girls ni Coach Jeremiah Monreal as we begin the second set. And this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. We have Ashley Magnai, the first center of UST. Meron din siyang puntos kanina because of that drop in the middle. First serve, ace agad for Magnai. Yes, good serve. Actually, parang long na uh, or outside yes. na yung ball eh. But then, inabot pa din ito ng libero ng Lasal. This is a good one. Down the line hit by Loriel Gamboa. That strong hit coming from Gamboa. Gamboa also played a vital role in their previous matches. First ball by UST sending to the open cross court hit. And that's a point. Galing kay Abigail Sinson. Look at that spike from Sinson. Ang layo na din sa net, pero mm. naibigay niya pa din talaga ng todo yung approach and yung spike. Margaret Athea a bit quiet for this match. Short ball. Nakita yan ng uh, Libero. Good pick up by the Libero. Pero Belen committing an error. Yes, as you can see, medyo nagkakaroon talaga ng struggle ang De La Salle Santiago Sobel pagdating dito sa kanilang receive. Or first ball. That's correct. Another short one. Open. Gamboa to the middle. Pero nakuha yan dito ng UST. And that rally. Si Simpson ulit ang nagtapos. Nice spike by Simpson. Simpson. Look at that spike. Hindi na naman nakaatras. Talagang pinalo na lang yung bola. That's correct. Pero hindi naman magbubuhay yung uh, bola na yun. If not na kung hindi nakuha yung nabasa yung drop earlier. Cortez locked at the net. And you have Penulier. And together with Lipat in front. And a coach Jeremiah Monreal just calls for a timeout. Pakinggan natin. Ano, Mag-usap kayo. Hindi na kayo, hindi ka na dumidiscate ng, ano, eh, ng maayos iya. Para nga ng robot. Kung ano na sabihin ko, yun, discate. Para tayo, masyado na predictable yung nangyayari. Hindi nga pwedeng ganyan. Tama ba? Ikaw mag-dictate yung game. Pero basahin mo maigi kung saan iya. Hindi yung tapon na ng tapon, bahala na kayo. No, hindi ganun. 
Oh, ba ako mini gate. Let's go. Recover tayo. Labas mo. Lina. Yes, kung maririnig natin kanina si coach. Actually, kasi talaga every game, every time na may sasabihin yung coach, hindi mm. din kasi po pwede na yun lang yung susundin mo. Eh. At the end of the day, ikaw lang din talaga yung magde-decide. Ikaw yung may alam or ikaw yung nakakaramdam sa loob kung ano ba talaga yung tama mong gawin, especially kapag setter ka. That's correct. Coach Jeremiah having a one-on-one -on -one discussion with uh, Belen, the setter, earlier. And you love that coming from a coach dahil yung tiwala ng coach nasa kanya. And just, you know, seeing how important her role is yes. dito sa kanyang team. And as a player, maganda talaga. Para, like for me, na nakapaglaro din mm -hmm. naman, na iba talaga yung nagiging impact kapag ganun yung tiwala sa'yo ng coach. That's correct. Services. And that's Cortez. Rian Cortez. When uh, Zobel needs more of that. Pero napalakas na yung pangalawa. Yeah, same target. Pero medyo, ano, too long mm. for that service. Six serving three. Belen Gamboa denied in front. You have seen Son and Bahamonde in front. Mm -hmm. Look at that block, three man block. So, pag ganyan talaga mahirapan ka ng dumiskarte kung saan mo dadalin yung bola. Medyo mababa na rin yung yes. set kay Gamboa. From the back. Magnai to Bahamonde with a drop. And that's a point gained for UST. They already have a five-point lead dito. And UST, you can see, mas fluid yung galaw nila. Mas uh, uh, la, ramdam. Ramdam yes. mo yung communication. Naririnig mo yung communication. Kaya naman ang ganda na nagiging performance nila on the second set for Santiago Sobel, what seems to be the problem on their end, Kai? Yeah, that's right. Kasi kung maririnig mo din dito na parang hindi masyado nag-uusap ngayon ang Santiago Sobel, so dun sila, dun mo talaga mararamdaman yung hirap ng communication mm. sa loob and hindi mo alam kung ikaw ba yung kukuha ng drop ball or ikaw yung didepensa. Mahirap pag hindi kayo nag-uusap, no? Yes. At uh, nag-resulta nga yun sa sunod-sunod na errors dito ng Sobel. And there you can see on your screens is our super fans of the day brought to you by Shakey Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Ko ba naman makakakuha ng ganong kalaking pizza? Siyempre yung energy mo, grabe. ganun din grabe. Grabe yung energy. <laughs> Back on the floor right here, UST having 5-point lead against Santiago Sobel making that 4. Gamboa, Lorian Gamboa hitting the head of Magnai in that last sequence. Guro yeah. kanina gigil, nagigil pa to si Gamboa, but definitely that's unintentional. But look at the defense of Magnai. Yan talaga yung defense na medyo mahirap basahin. Oh. Eh. Yung down the line na yan. But still, it's a good ball yes. kung alam mo yun, ma makukuha. Ma makukuha yung second. Pabawi ang UST, but still... An error, and that will end that rally. <laughs> Napansin mo, medyo inaalog-alog niya yung ulo niya ni Magnai. <laughs> Parang ang lakas kasi nung palo na yun ni Gamboa earlier. Yes. Solid yun yung contact. Diretso talaga. Uh, Solid at eh. mabilis eh. Oh. So di na siya nakaiwas. Isa sa mga talents yun eh, ng isang volleyball player. Kung alam mo, pag nababasa mo yung bola, alam mo kung may iwasan mo yes. kung tatama na sa'yo. But that time, it's Cortez attack from the back. Going straight to Altea will gain them a point. 
This time, kailangan ng uh, Dalasal Sobel ng mas madaming variation ng attack. Correct. Kasi medyo nababasa sila na mabilis kapag open-open lang yung ginagawa nilang attack. That's right. Lipat off speed. Nabasa na yan dito ni Cortez. Too much power in that attack by Alemania. I think the intention is patamain sa kamay yung bola. Mm -hmm. Para at least manang check ball. First ball. Receive ni Alemania. Palo ni Alemania. Yeah, we need more of that. Look at Alemania. Talagang hiningi yung bola. Eh, gusto niya makabawi eh, dahil naka-error naka siya kanina. Yes. Magdai will give this one to Althea. And you can see Althea. No? Parang gigil na gigil na makapuntos. Yes, look at that spike. Inibabawan talaga and then pinadaan sa blocker yung bola. Kanina, uh, I mean, we mentioned na medyo tahimik siya on the first set. Too long. Error for UST. That's a quick attack of the block. Gamboa, cross court. Magnayi. Ibigay ulit kay Althea. Down the line, pero nakuha ni Belen. Chance for USC. One more time. And she is rejected at the net. Good defense by Andres and Cortez in front. Yes, look at that spike from Althea. Pero nakita na bantay na bantay dito ni Cortez. Look at that block. Oh, you give credit to uh, Cortez. I'm getting that point. Sharp serve. Pero ni Angat yan dito. Gamboa. Picked up. Magnai. Bibi ulit kay Althea. And yes. Yes, this time. Makikita mo yung sa mukha ni Althea. Yung, <laughs> ano, eh, yung giggle talaga. Eh, na parang hindi na siya pwedeng mablock. Eh. Look at that spike. Full swing. Ano bang nararamdaman mo dati, Kai, pag namablock ka? Gigil din. Gigil ka yeah. din, di ba? Parang gusto mong butasin yung yeah. bola sa susunod na hampas mo. Magnai. Althea down the line. Picked up by Belen. Nahabol yan. And what a save by Zobel. Medyo nag-alangan doon. Yes. Sa kanyang approach, defended at the net si Andres. Look at that rally. Talagang makikita mo na lahat is naka-attention sila dun sa bola. Medyo nagpababa lang or na-off timing lang tong uh, palo ni Andres. Pero ang ganda ng pinakita nila na rally dito. That's correct. Hindi nila kahayaang bumagsak talaga yung bola. Hinahabol kahit saan mapunta. Gamboa off the block and finally getting a point from that attack. That's Lorien Gamboa once again. Yes, look at that spike. Marzan comes back in, replacing Cassandra Gamboa. And you have Julia Andres for Zabel. Magnai to Althea. Chance for Zabel. Bibigay sa likod. Cortez nails it down. Yes, good set. And nag-abang na ulit talaga lahat sila kay ano eh, Gamboa. That's correct. But this time, Cortez doing cross-court. That's what you will like when you're the setter, no? Yes. Bihira, kahit bihira ka mabigyan ng bola, makakapuntos ka. Chance again for Zobel. Belen, 
Giving this one to Lorien Gamboa, pero pinayungan ni Althea at Pinuliar. Look at that umbrella block coming from Althea. Solid. Marzan already dun sa spot kung saan bumagsak yung bola but she did not expect na ganun ka, Belen. That's correct. Belen, bibigay dito kay Marzan with the drop. Althea from the back. What a save by Zobel. Once again, pero hindi na yun nakuha that time ni Belen. And yeah. Sinson. And Sinson using the hand of the blocker. Nakikita mo dun sa approach niya, alam niya na, na mataas ang reach nito ni Lagamboa. Kaya pinadaan talaga sa kamay. Look at that spike. That's correct. Sharp serve. Nakuha yan ni Gamboa. Cortez blocked. Good coverage for Zabel. Gamboa will try again. Good save by Lipat. But that attack from the back was picked up. Chance again for UST. Lipat. And Lipat scores. Again, Lipat doing her job. Ang sipag ng batang to dumipensa at umupensa. Kaya naman, ganito na kalaki yung kanyang score. And that will take UST to, the, to a six-point lead as we head on to our second technical timeout. And again, today is the last day of our preliminaries as you see our playoff brackets. A1, C2, C1, B2, B1, D2, D1, A2. Wag po tayong malilito, you know. It's a little bit of twist when it comes to uh, the quarterfinals bracketing. Pero again, our top, our 16 teams divided into four pools. Top two teams po ang uh, maglalaban sa quarterfinals. Knockout po quarterfinals natin. Kaya naman napaka-importante lahat ng magiging laro natin for today as that attack coming from Gamboa. Lazal Sobel. Yes, again, that's Lorien Gamboa penetrating the blockers. Yeah, nagiging scoring machine na din dito si Gamboa. And makikita mo talaga na palaban. That's correct. Kung alam nilang may chance, why not? Another opportunity for them. The drop will not work for Zubel. And it's Lipat. Again, Lipat challenging the blocker of the, the Zubel. This time, second time na na hinahataw niya talaga mismo dun sa kamay ng blocker. And makikita mo talaga na tumatal si Kim. Mm -hmm. Substitutions again on the side of Zubel. And Coach Lerma, of course, wanting to have front, tall front line. You have Bahamonde, Sinson, and the Lipat in front for UST. Oops. That's violation committed. That's the second setter of Zobel, Sabine Baldes. Eighteen serving eleven. Another sharp serve. Chance for UST. Magnai. Combination play. And that's a yes for UST. Sinson getting another point from that attack. Yeah, yes. good combination play. Look at that attack coming from the middle. Hindi ready nga ang defenders don ng Zobel. Yes. And let's listen to a coach Jeremiah Monreal. Kung ano yung kailangan natin, tama ba, namigay na naman tayo ng 3 points. Sabi nga, kailangan natin yung lesson ni Air. Tayo na atake eh. 
Tama ba? Hinayaan nyo na matapos yung game na ganyan. Eh, hindi pa naman tapos. Wala pa naman 25. Tama ba? Play with the whistle and then tama natin ang puso. Di ba? Naglalaro na eh. Hindi pwede nang duwag. Hello? Yes, kung maririnig natin si Coach, sinasabi niya dun sa mga bata na hindi pa naman tapos yung game. And parang yun yung gusto niya para tingin. And then, and kailangan din talaga lumaban dito ng uh, Sobel dahil alam natin na ito na lang yung chance nila para makapasok sa top 2. Correct. Kanina naman ang ganda nung pinapakita nila. Eh. Yes. Pero pag ganito na nga, medyo malayo yun na yung kalaban. Na nawawalan sila ng, ng pag-asa. But still, ang nung sabi nga ni Coach Jerry Maya, nandito na kayo. Mm. Diba? Play with your heart. Play 100%. Kasi, I mean, you, you won't have any other chance para ipakita kung anong gusto niyong ipakita. Ngayon na, but another service is coming from UST and this time, that's Arazan. Bagong pasok si Arazan. And Arazan is the other daughter of Jennifer Buhawi Arazan, the head coach of EAC. Nakasali din dito sa ating liga. And drop ball will give Lorian Gamboa another point for her team. Yes, kung makikita natin, dito sa Subel, si isa na si Gamboa sa hindi sumusuko dito sa laban nito. But she has been, you know, one of uh, the leader and the yes. uh, scorers for Lazal Subel. Okay, so makita mo, inaasahan talaga. Da, inaasahan talaga siya. Oops. Error committed by UST. So, back-to-back -back points yan for Zobel. Yeah, medyo madikit na sa net yung bola. Thirteen serving 20. Over reception. Pero nakuha yan dito ni Simpson. Bibigay kay Lipat off speed attack. And again, another point. Yes, kagaya ng sinabi natin kanina si Lipat. Maaasahan mo talaga na iba-ibang variation yung ibibigay niya sa'yo when it comes to attack. May palo, may malakas na palo. And look at that, ang layo sa net. Pero nagawan pa din niya ng paraan. Bagong pasok dito for Coach Lerma. Mauricio in front, serving for UST. Alemania, that's a tough attack. Down the line hit for Colendra, but too much muscle in that hit. Punto Solet ang makukuha dito ng Zobel. Again, bagong pasok, nagpapainit. <laughs> Samara Marzan, serving for Zobel. Mauricio giving this one to the open. Opposite attack. And that's a point gained by Zobel. Look at that pro approach by Mindanao. Medyo off timing na din. Hindi na din siya nakalabas ng uh, court. Pero... Ang ganda nung pagkapalo niya. Doon nalilito yung depensa ng UST. Yes. No? Kapag hindi malakas yung mga hinahampas ng Zobel. But for Zobel, it's an advantage because they score a point. Off-speed attack. Gamboa ibabalik. Mauricio. Good rally we're seeing right now. Marzan hitting from the back. Mauricio bibigay kay Lipat. But Lipat is rejected. Good coverage by UST. Oops! Another violation committed on the side of Zobel. As a setter, talaga ang hirap ng ganyan na biglang dumidikit yung bola. Mm. As you can see, parang intention naman talaga na iset, but then... But the ay, that's, that's the second time na yeah. nagka-error si Valdez. Sayang yung opportunity, pero nabawi naman yan ng Zobel. Cortez and Belen, babalik. Si 
16 serving 22. And you have Chloe Bilen, the first setter. First ball by Lipat, Mauricio to Althea. Althea gusto na yata ang tapusin itong laro na to. And kung titignan mo, silent lang talaga ngayon si Althea. Pero pag pumuntos, kung mapapansin mo yung mga ilang puntos niya, talagang baon yung pinapalo. That's correct. Pero pa, that's the usual yes. uh, play ni Margaret Althea. What an attack coming from Zobel. Powerful hit, but she was picked up. Mauricio, ibibigay ulit kay Arasan. And Arasan blocked, but that ball will sail out. Kung mapapansin mo dito sa rotation na to, pinagit na ni Coach si Altea para makapag-open. We already at match point. Gamboa, match point saved. Another point for Gamboa. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, lumalaban pa din itong si Gamboa. That's correct. Medyo nagkakagulo ang uh, rotation dito ng USC dahil ipasok nga ng ibang players sa so si Coach Lerma. And that's back-to-back -back points for Zobel. Another match point saved. Yes, another block. And that's from, again, Gamboa. And dito sa USD, kung mapapansin mo, nagitna na si Altea mm. para mapa-open itong si Arasan. Mauricio to Altea in the middle. But she was dug. Down the line attack. And Gamboa will get another point. 19-24, si Coach Lerma ang napatawag ng timeout dito. Breaking lang natin yung momentum. Dandan lang tayo. Isang pasa, okay? Pwestuhan mo yung, ano, yung bola. Kasi pag minamadali mo, hindi na kukontrol eh. Okay? Malalakas yung spiker mo sa harapan. Maniwala ka, malakas ka. Kaso hindi mo nilalabas, hindi mo ginagawa ng paraan. Alam mo nang digit sa net. Anong gagawin mo? Babagalan ka? Oh, pasahan natin ang pasahan natin ang maayos. Yes, gusto dito ni coach na tapusin na itong game and kailangan daw ng isang pasa lang na maayos kasi syempre isang puntos na lang ang kailangan dito ng USP para makuha itong second set. Good serve. Mauricio, bibigay kay Arasan on forced error. That's a three point match point save. Three match points save here for Lazal Zobel. Yes, and kung mapapansin mo, binibigyan talaga ng time si Arasan dito. But this time, papalitan si Arasan. Twenty serving twenty-four. And USD back to their normal. Oh, and an error will actually end their uh, run. I'm referring to uh, De La Salle Santiago Sobel, and this is USD wrapping up this game in straight sets. MVP of the match, set highlights and stats. Ibibigay po natin yan sa pagbabalik ng Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament. <laughs>
the journey of the USD Junior Tigers is continues here in our tournament as they finish this match in straight sets 25-19, 25-20 at syempre ang daming na contribute para dito sa girls ni Coach Lerma but still this girl stood out from the rest as our MVP of the match and this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now sino bang ating MVP Kai? Yes, none other than Jacqueline Margaret Lipat Contributing 12 points on this match. That's correct. 10 of those points only in the first set. Tapos pagdating naman ang second, ito nga ang uh, naidagdag niya sa kanyang puntos. And uh, congratulations, Jacqueline, our MVP. Hi, Jacqueline. <laughs> Ayan, ano sa tingin mo yung naging advantage mo over your teammates para makuha yung 12 points in this game? Um, yung siguro po yung guidance po ng coach sa akin if yung saan po ilalagay yung bola kaya nalalaman ko po yung mga butas ng kalaban. Uh, so next game, ano naman ang aasahan namin sa inyo? Um, next game po is quarterfinals na so parang maasahan nyo po sa amin is yung maganda pa rin pong performance and syempre po yung um, uh, another win po. That's, uh, thank you so much Jacqueline. Pwede ka na bumati at magpasalamat. Uh, Thank you po sa AIM Builders, Kadano Cargo, Piva Restaurant, Attorney Nico, Attorney Arnel, Sir Chris, and kay Kuya Anjo po. Thank you po. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat, Jacqueline. And since you are our MVP of the match, you will receive a Shaky Super Card and gift certificate. Siyempre, galing Shaky yan. Once again, congratulations, our MVP of the match, Jacqueline Lipat. At puntahan naman natin ngayon ang ating game highlights. No first set, no it was a seesaw battle between Santiago Zobel and UST. Nanguna pa nga dito ang, uh, San, ang Zobel having a 4 or 5 point lead at the onset. Pero nahabol naman yan dito ng UST. You have contributions coming, of course, from Cortez and Lorien Gamboa together with Marzan. But still insufficient for the girls of Jeremiah to win over that set. On the other side for UST, it's a uh, team effort ang mapinakita nila dito acknowledging yung mga ganun butas sa depensa ng Zobel and you have Lipat taking charge when it comes to their offense at ang naging bawi nga dito ng UST pagdating ng second set yung kanilang mga opensa at service aces you have Althea also working the the as a, the operator for USD and Cortez a bit silent on the first pero bumawi naman siya pagdating sa second naging challenging dito at a very important ang uh, role ni Lorien Gamboa and seeing that highlight in our game hitting the head of Magnai in that last attack pero nakabawi naman doon si Lipat you also have uh, the defensive um powers of Zobel again but it's still the UST the girls of coach Lerma Giron you know showing dominance in this game ito ang ating numero for our match between the two teams Kai yes as you can see naglamang talaga dito ng attacks pagdating sa attack ang UST and ang kanilang service aces also hindi naman ganun kalaki ang kalamangan sa opponent's error but this time talagang malaki din ang naging epekto ng 3 points Nalamang nila sa opponent's errors. That's correct. And we will be seeing more of uh, UST in our tournament dahil nga titingnan natin kung uh, paano pa sila magmumu forward dito. And of course, for our third game, this is California Academy taking on Arellano University. Thank you for joining us. This is Sheila Salaysay and Kai Babalwa for the first two matches. Susunod pong game, it's Ken Pangilinan and Kai pa din kaya. Thank you for watching the Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament. Hooray! Yay!